All right, Wes, thank you very much. Come into my kitchen has been a feature in the KC Star for decades. This week, you'll see a familiar face. 41 Action News anchor Lindsay Shively joins us live now this morning to tell us about what this includes. Lindsay, I've, I've known you now for, I guess this is Christmas number four, that you and I have known each other, and I've heard so yeah. many stories about how you <laughs> and your family celebrate and cook and bake together. I'm so jealous that you still have grandparents on both sides of your family that you can do these kind of things with. Bring us up to speed and tell us what people can expect from, from you this holiday season to share this family tradition. Yeah, you know, my grandma and I were so honored that they asked us to be part of Come Into My Kitchen, and we shared how we make a bouche de Noël every Christmas. And by the way, I would love if you guys read it, and if you try the recipe, it's very easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Let us know if you do that. And uh, when they first called to ask, I thought, oh, no, not this year. I don't even know how or if we're going to do this to be safe. And that got us thinking, how are all of you keeping your traditions going in the midst of COVID-19 in 2020? <laughs> For more than 20 years, I've spent a December afternoon in my grandma's kitchen making our bouche de Noël. But this is 2015. Now I see me and I see you, but we're both the same size. <laughs> and this is so 2020, baking our Yule log cakes in our own kitchens. Let it sit for a minute. And decorating them on grandma's deck, masked, chilly and apart, but together, like so many families, trying to keep traditions going safely. How are you girls? From socially distant Santa. Santa needs to be safe as well. And we got to see Santa behind um, a glass and you could hear him just fine. Cake, cake, cake. To adding extra car rides to see the lights. A big six foot Hanukkah menorah. Paul Silverman added more to his display this year. So it brings joy to my other brothers and sisters. And to celebrate Hanukkah, the Gilmans and their extended family lit candles and opened presents over Zoom. So we're going to put ornaments on the tree. No big 86th birthday party this year for Sue Molina's mom, where she and her siblings usually decorate their mother's Christmas tree together. It seems more important, so it's harder not to do it. Instead, they came masked and in separate shifts. I gave her a Christmas card that specifically said, you know, here's, here's a birthday hug. It's like, I, I, you know, wish it could be a real one. Kendall Beeson's Christmas tradition, collecting donations for the hungry. She's been doing this since she was five years old. We met her in 2017. It feels really good. In 2020, the 11 year old kept Kendall's campaign going, but online. We would still have to find a way to help people. And through this year, a lot of people have lost their jobs. This is something that Kendall feels is a calling on her life. <laughs> 12-year-old Call Your Cash Rule plays for his grandpa through a window now. My dad has a really aggressive lymphoma. I think he's just happy that he gets to hear something, do something. And see you. But yeah. <laughs> so this Thanksgiving and now this Christmas, they eat outside, grandpa inside, with another Call Your Concert likely on the menu. Call Your and my dad are besties. We drag an amp and a lot of extension cords. Has this changed your perspective on traditions at all? There's so much more. It's forced, I know for us anyways, to really slow down. Something that we just take for granted and then when you don't have it, hey. it takes on a whole different meaning. Family and the gift of family and the gift of life. Oh, deep breath. This is a moment that we can all still find ways to get through together. Thank you to all those families who shared that with us. By the way, we have to talk about Kendall. If you want to help her, last year she impacted 700 families. They raised $1,000. This is a big deal that they do every single year. I tweeted a link to Mount Carmel Resource Center where she takes her donations and they can help you help Kendall's campaign. A couple things on that. We, we, we mean for that story to bring you a little hope this morning, but we also you, yes. you are excused if you had a little tear come to your eye as you watched it and thought about the differences <laughs> this year. I know that's how I felt watching it. Secondly, I've, I've got to know, how did the, the Boost of Noels come out? We ate it for Thanksgiving, and now we're like, why don't we make two every year? <laughs> so now we're just going to double it up. See, and I will say, tradition. this has just made it so easy to just hop on the video call with my grandma. So sure. we talked to her a lot more. So that is a, a beautiful silver lining. Well, it's good to see. and and and. We, we appreciate everything that every family is out there doing to enjoy the time, but to also keep everyone around them as safe as possible this year. Thank you for the work that you're doing Absolutely. to keep people safe so much. Speaking